Now, Nigerian President Mohamedou Buhari says he is feeling much better, but needs more rest and health tests. The president is just back from nearly two months of medical leave in Britain. During his absence, Deputy Yemi Oshibanjo stamped his authority on economic policy. Well, Oshibanjo is seen as more business friendly and played an active role in driving policy changes in Africa's top oil producer. The Nigerian stock market jumped to a one-month high when Buhari returned, but trimmed gains after his comments about his continued continued ill health raised fears over policy confusion and of course a power vacuum. Now Buhari was seen holding meetings with government officials uh, today. Um, I'm deeply grateful to all Nigerians, Muslims and the Christians alike who have prayed and are continuing to pray for my good health. This is a testimony that in spite of the hardship being experienced Nigerians support the government in its effort to tackle our country's challenges. I have rested as much as humanly possible. I have uh, received, I think, the best of treatment I can receive. Um, I couldn't recall ever being so sick uh, since I was a young man, real young man including the military goes ups and down. But um, I found out that um, uh, technology is going so fast that uh, if you have a lot of confidence, you better keep it <laughs> because you need it. Now, Nigerians have welcomed the return of President Buhari. They say it's in solidarity and to show their love for their leader who's been away on medical leave. Welcome him for coming back. And uh, for what I've been seeing, since the man have gone to London for treatment and all that, Osimbanjo has, uh, has been trying on that it. Like, for, for instance, the dollar that was high actually started coming down on his absence. So he actually comes back. Well, I wouldn't know if you'll be able to we'll continue again on that seat. This is a great thing. This is a new development to Nigeria. And I think the opposition party, um, they, will be, uh, they will have to prove it wrong with when they say the president is dead. They now know the president is not dead. And um, I think what the opposition party need to do right now is to join on with the ruling party and move Nigeria to the next level. Well, let's get more on the implication of President Buhari's return. Deji Badmus now joins us in Lagos. Deji, many thanks for joining us. Now, his, we know President Buhari's absence uh, suddenly fueled a lot of concern for the economy. Uh, is it back to business as usual now? Or how do Nigerians uh, suddenly feel about uh, Buhari's return? Well, Uche, uh, first I would say um, Nigerians are happy. Uh, at least the majority of Nigerians are happy. Uh, we've, we've had jubilations and uh, rallies up north in the country where the president, as you know, is very popular. People jubilating that he is back and, uh, you know, putting paid to the rumor that uh, he was badly ill and at some point uh, the rumor that he was dead. So people are generally happy. Now, is it going to be business as usual? I, I do not think so. Uh, we've seen the economy, uh, you know, making a gradual rebound. Um, I think it's going to continue in that trajectory. Uh, whatever the vice president has been able to achieve so far, of course, he, he, he did uh, consult uh, with the president. And, uh, you know, I, I think things will begin to move uh, faster now. And uh, it's not as if uh, whatever has happened is a coincidence. I mean, people had already expected, economists had expected that the economy was going to make a, a gradual rebound and that things will begin to uh, move forward from here. And uh, so uh, the, the expectation is that uh, the economy will continue to uh, grow gradually and that uh, the country will exit the recession in, uh, before the end of this year, just like uh, the Minister of Budget and National Planning said uh, the day before when they had uh, the Federal Executive Council meeting, Uche. Mm. Well, Deji, some of his critics are saying or questioning uh, whether Buhari is still fit enough to hold office, uh, mainly because his issues uh, around the state of his health have been closely guarded since he left for his 10-day vacation, which, turn, which turned into almost two months. Now, is trouble brewing for Buhari uh, now that he's back?
Well, everyone expects the president to uh, take over. The president has not given any indication yet that uh, he is uh, on feet to continue in office. Uh, the, the good thing that the president has done is that, for instance, um, as you've been reporting, he's asked the vice president to continue to act for him until next week, uh, that he wants to take a further rest. And people have actually commended him for that, that it clearly shows that um, he is not a seat-tight uh, leader and that um, he is very patriotic and that he has the interest of the country is at heart. So uh, the, the president will definitely continue in office. He says he's going to uh, resume work on Monday. Uh, uh, Vice President Toshibajo will continue to act until the president takes over. Of course, the president will be expected to write to the National Assembly uh, that he's back and that uh, he's strong enough to take over. And uh, of course, uh, we expect, as he has said, that in the coming weeks, he'll be going back uh, again to the United Kingdom, most probably uh, for more medical checkup. Um, so I, I don't think uh, there's any problem at all. The most important thing is that uh, for all the period that he was away, there was no vacuum at all. The, the vice president uh, discharged uh, his responsibility uh, in a manner that everyone is satisfied with. And uh, at any time at all that the president uh, chooses to travel for more medical checkups, there's no question at all that the vice president will step into that shoe uh, and continue to act on his behalf until he returns again. Well, many thanks, Deji, for those insights. We'll certainly be watching. Deji Badmus joining us there in Lagos.